I say it's time to get our aquarium and fish room back in shape. Welcome back fellow reefers. Today we are talking about tank neglect. But before we get into that, we are so close to 800 subscribers. Come on everyone, let's get to 1000 and get over the top. Today is May 10th, 2023, and it's been over a year since my last video. And to be honest, I got so burned out with all the past aquarium issues we had, so we took a much needed nice break. I've been working on the candle business, and Gwonk, if you're watching this, I need you to contact me. We used your name idea for a wax melt, and we would love to get it shipped out to you. If you're looking to get some of our candles, the link is in the description below. So tank neglect happens to a lot of us reefers. Do we mean for it to happen? No, it just does. It happens in the north, usually around May through October. And here is why. Winters up here are awful. Nothing to do, everyone is bundled up inside at home for the most part. There's nothing to do unless you like the cold and snow. Therefore, we have more time to dedicate to our reef aquariums. May brings warmer days, which means fishing, camping, outdoor chores like grass cutting, and don't forget vacations. We are more active in the warmer months. This in turn means less time being spent on our aquariums. And that's okay for some. Actually, it seems as though some tanks do better because, well, let's face it, we are not constantly tinkering with this or that. Our tanks are more stable when we leave them alone. Want proof? Well, our tank behind me has had no water changes, no testing, no supplements, no dosing of KH, calcium, magnesium, nothing other than feeding our fish. And all the fish are healthy and fine. However, the tank looks like a barren wasteland. We never really got back into the coral this build like we did the last build. And that's okay because we want to bring you along as we take this mess and turn it into the masterpiece that it deserves to be. We recently went to Disney World and after we got off the seas with Nemo Ride, the reef tanks, as you see here, inspired me. They were not filled with all the expensive designer coral reefers chase after all the time. They were filled with huge colonies of what most would call common corals. And let's face it, Disney has the bank account to have ultra rare collector pieces. They in turn focus their money into the care of the animals and the coral that they have. That made me remember the love I have for this hobby. So while we start to get this tank back into shape, we want to include all of you as well. First up, let's get our parameters in check, being as we need to look and see if our reagents are still good and not expired. If that is the case, we will need to order more just to do the test. We plan to test with all of you viewers as well so you can see the result as we're seeing them too. Then first on the list will be a water change. Leave in the comments below, what do you think we should do? We think a slow progression, say 20% every two weeks, would be more beneficial and be more stable transition than say a 50% water change. That large of a water change eh, just might shock the system. To do that, we'll have to see you next week. We just wanted to say we are back, Reef Junkies, and we are on a mission. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 subscribers in seven days. That's only 200 new viewers. Once we can get that monetized, we can take that money and just put it right back into the channel and put it into the aquarium. And it also means that we could do more and also afford to do giveaways later on down the road. So until then, we will see you on the next one.